University have bursary and scholarship for international students. And this is granted to only people that apply to full-time program based on the order of application. And it is a full tuition, full, uh, tuition, full tuition fee waiver, okay? So which means all the tuition fee will be waived and also they have accommodation, free accommodation option for people that also apply to this university, which means if you apply to this university, you are going to be getting accommodation bursary, okay? So in simple steps, I'll be guiding you on how you can apply to this university, what is the document that you need to apply to this university, what are the visa uh, procedure that you need to follow, how do you get access into the bursary, how can you easily apply to this university okay so i've made a list here so in six simple steps i will be guiding you step by step how you can apply to this university and what you need to know okay so the first thing i want us to look at is actually is the application deadline okay so if you are going for your bachelor and master degree program then the application is going to end by 30th of september uh this year and if you are watching this video in a subsequent time this will still remain the same okay and if you are going for your doctoral program that's your phd then the application is going to end 2nd of june for the first entrance and 4th of september for the second entrance okay so you need to act facts okay so i always tell you you don't have to wait for the deadline of the application to come before you submit your application remember they said the bursary and the scholarship is being given based on the application uh the the the, the way people apply okay so as you apply they consider you for uh the scholarship and bursary so is on uh on uh, on uh first come first serve yes so the person that come first is going to be considered before the second person okay so and if you don't submit your application on time it means your application uh is not going to get full tuition uh waiver okay so i'm going to be showing you what is the name of this university uh, where is this university located and what are other documents that you need to apply to this university if we come to this area where it says visa requirements then you are going to see that we have some information about visa requirements now okay but we are going to look into that in a moment from now and this university is actually in czech republic okay so uh, i want you to sit back and work and watch because there are a lot of programs that this university have and if you apply in the correct way you are going to get full tuition or uh, full uh, tuition waiver to this university and also uh, the bursary okay there are some information that is very very important because one if you apply to a program that is not a full-time program you are not going to get the scholarship or the bursary in this university okay so you have to pay attention at this point and most of their programs are in english okay so here we have the study program and bachelor degree specialization award with the title of bc upon completion okay says they have anglophone study in english under that they have the financial management they have the humanity they have international business they have international so they have a lot of programs that are in in english and also this one is in czech republic uh, is in Czech language okay so those are their English language and also here they have uh, media studies they have public administration tourism and the rest and under their master as well they have anglophone study in English Asian study and international relation or uh, international relation in European studies okay so they have a couple of program and they also have doctoral program political science media study political science and also they have a rigorosum proceeding award with the title of phdr upon completion that is not what we are looking at okay so we are majorly looking at the bachelor the msc and the 
uh, doctoral programs okay so those are the programs that this university is offering right now okay so you can just go through it read the program requirements once you read the program requirements then you can easily apply to this university okay so now that we've seen some of the program let's quickly see how you can apply before we now go back to the visa application process okay so if you come to this place here you are going to see this uh information table it said application to study at mup okay mup first thing you have to do is to create a new account because you are a new user and said applicant may search individual specialization offer by this university okay so the admission procedure is announced four months to the deadline of so for submission of application to study okay so and i think may june july august that's correct it's correct so that's four months okay in the admission uh, in the admission procedure applicant may find information about the venue and the content for entrance examination field as well as date of the day of open doors okay so here it says create a new account you can submit your electronic application for study by clicking on this link note there are some documents that you need to upload and if you don't upload these documents just consider it that your application will not be considered okay so before you even upload the documents there are some procedure that you need to follow and if you don't follow this procedure just consider it that your application will not be considered if you don't follow the steps i'm going to be giving you right now because i know a lot of people will have jump off this video and just probably click the link to start uh looking at this university okay information is power so you have to be patient okay so first before you apply to this university you have to know that you have to put your documents together and make sure everything is ready with part-time program you are not going to get a visa okay so get that right if you apply to part-time programs you are not going to get a visa so don't just waste your effort okay so before you send your documents to the uh university portal or before you even start the application at all let me give you the process that you need to take your documents through before you even send your documents to this university first uh you are going to take four steps okay so the first one is that you have to carry all your documents check the list of the program that you want to apply to once you check this program that you want to apply to okay so this is the university uh main page here that is uh metropolitan's university uh parago okay so this university is majorly in czech republic and they have a lot of program okay so once you carry all your documents and you carry all these documents you have to take it to ministry of education in your home country okay once you take it uh through ministry of education for verification then you take it to foreign affair after that you have to take it to the czech embassy for legalization okay once you do your legalization then you have to take it to public notary okay so that public notary is like uh no, the nostrification nostrification okay so i'm going to show you that uh in a moment okay so the first step is ministry of education the second one is foreign affair that's two the third one is the czech uh embassy for the legalization and finally to the notary uh to the public notary that's the first step then you now send it to the university okay so let's quickly go to this page where they give us the notification information okay notification requirements certificates recognition okay on higher education institution and modification blah 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 they just put those information here so let's look for the one for bachelor the following documents are required for the notification call notification de loca in check of your secondary school living certificate okay a legal attestated copy of your secondary school living certificate with a positive if applicable 
that is if applicable so it's not necessary you get the apostille okay then transcript of all secondary school subjects if necessary the local authority will provide you with further details so i've given you all the authorities that you need to go through for you to have a successful uh document uh evaluation okay also you have to certify check translation of your certificate which means you have to translate your documents okay and completed application form available through this link so you have to go through this blue link this underlined link here you have to go through it and fill the online form okay then address in the czech republic proven by an official document e.g personal id if applicable so if you are an international student you don't need this okay so the process take usually one to three months and the notification cost 1000 check krona okay so you know check krona is very ridiculous <laughs> so that's this money is still moderate okay and for the master program then you need to do a certified copy of the relevant diploma certified copy of the diploma supplement note when you are uh, taking all these documents you don't have to take the original document you have to photocopy this document because they will not return it now so you have to photocopy all these documents even as you are taking from ministry to the public notary you have to photocopy your document and take it along okay so certify copy of the diploma supplement or a transcript of record certify check or english translation of the diploma and diploma supplement okay by a court son translator usually do not need to be translated okay so english diploma does not need to be translated so if your bachelor is in english you don't need to translate so it is written here boldly now okay so but if your program is not uh in english so people that come from a country like uh, uh republic of bene port novo so you might need to translate your uh certificates okay to english okay but if you are from nigeria your certificate is in english i don't know if ghana use english for their i think ghana use english okay but bene republic they use uh french okay so that is that okay completed application form on this link on the website of public universities see the link below so these are the information about the notification so first we've seen the deadline second we've seen the notification third we've talked about the bursary and the scholarship then uh we've also look at the application process how you can apply by clicking on this link but make sure you do all these documents uh validation and legalization first okay then let's look at the payment structure and the visa uh procedure okay so we've also looked at some of the programs that this university have so that make it seven steps okay now remember if you want to apply to this university you have to write an entrance examination without the entrance examination your application will not even be considered okay so that's one thing about this university first you have to uh make verification about your document and the legalization then you now apply to this university once you apply to this university you have to write entrance examination okay so this this one is past due so this is the one you should target right now 31st of july for people applying for examination to be aired in early uh earliest in june 2024 and if you are going for the third uh batch then you should submit or you should be writing your exam by this period okay so once you write the entrance examination that is when your application will be considered into this university okay so let's look at the bursary uh, uh the bursary again the bursary cover tuition fee waiver and uh accommodation bursary okay 
and if you come to tuition here you are going to see that the full tuition form of study is 2428 euro which is equivalent to 59000 check krona payment per one academic year in full okay i've said it before that you should not look at programs that are part time because once you even apply they will not even give you the visa so don't waste don't waste that effort make sure you don't waste your efforts try to apply to full time program take your time go through the list of available programs and check programs that are in full time okay so if you are watching this video right now please make sure you click on that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so that you can be the first person to notify when i drop a video on this channel okay so and if you want to if you are looking at other university that does not need legalization or all this process then you might want to check out my channel on university with no tuition fee no legalization no iet no application fee all of those university are uh, uh investor information are available for you on my channel okay and if you want to actually reach out to me you want to send me email you want to get that email notification you want to join my whatsapp community okay so these are the available links for you right here and if you want to have a one-on-one -on -one call with me you can just click on this uh, button here and how do you get to this uh, page make sure you click on this contact me here once you click on this contact me you can easily send me uh inquiry message or you can even get direct email notification or you can even get the uh into my whatsapp community once you put your email and your phone number then it will take you directly to the whatsapp community okay so make sure you put your correct information and uh let's grow together also uh this is my agency if you have anything you want me to help you build a blog a corporate website online store learn management system and other supplement programs i have training for individuals and for groups okay so this is what i do and also i talk about traveling abroad migration abroad study abroad work abroad okay so if this interests you then please don't forget to uh reach out to me and if you have any question regarding this video make sure you drop them at the comment section so i'm going to drop the link to this university so that you can also check out some things yourself okay so let's quickly look at the visa requirements before we call it a wrap okay so the admission uh the application is submitted at the czech embassy in your home country document to be submitted in the czech language foreign documents require an official translation okay decision of admission to an educational institution this is after you've completed all your admission process okay so this is why i make this the last steps in this video okay when you've uh, verified all your documents you've completed your online application and you've written your entrance exam and you've gotten a positive response this is when you can now start your visa application okay so you have to provide the uh, letter that was given to you from the university confirmation of accommodation in the Czech Republic so you can click here to read more information about this confirmation of sufficient financial resources for living in the Czech Republic you can so they've provided all the links confirmation of medical insurance so for your visa you need uh, you need your transcript you need the high school medical proof of fund police character all those uh, things are what you need and decision is usually within 60 days that's approximately 60 days in approximately 60 days in a case of visa for the purpose of study okay so if it's a study visa is usually or usually within uh, 60 days okay if you find this video useful please don't hesitate to click on that like button so that other people that are looking for this information can actually see it okay remember this is university uh metropolitan paragon okay so metropolitan university paragon okay is in czech republic so do well to make sure you uh check out this university and also here there's a button here so you can use it to navigate to any part 
of the website that you want to go to okay so i hope this information is useful enough for you don't hesitate to uh, drop your comments if you have any question if you need any uh, clarification drop them at the comment box and if you want to have one-on-one -on -one call with me do where to click this link and you also find this link at the description of the video okay so till then i will see you in another one peace